In this short video, I'll explain the key limitations of machine learning algorithms that are based purely on data and why they can never achieve true artificial intelligence, no matter how big the data. It also provides a very simple introduction to the idea of graphical causal models and Pearl's ladder of causation. Here's a typical example of a big data driven problem where machine learning algorithms are used. Banks gather comprehensive data on customers to whom they give loans. They use this information to help them risk assess future customers, i.e. those most likely to default on a loan. So here I've highlighted some customers who've defaulted. What statistical machine learning algorithms do is learn what the distinguishing features are of those customers who default and how they differ from those who don't default. Now the first problem with this type of data is that, although it might be really big, it is completely missing data for an entire class of customers who we also need to learn about. Specifically, as it's restricted to customers who were given loans, it contains no information at all on those who were refused loans. We say that such data is censored and therefore biased. So we can learn nothing about customers who were refused loans and why they were refused. And this creates other problems leading to fundamentally flawed algorithms. Take a look at these cases highlighted here. There are a small number of unemployed teenagers given very large loans who did not default. Now most unemployed teenagers asking for big loans don't appear at all here because they would almost certainly default and so they never made it into the data and so we don't learn such obvious characteristics. Instead, we have a small number who don't default because these were special case exceptions. They were the children of wealthy customers known to the bank. Hence, instead of learning that unemployed teenagers are high risk, the purely data-driven algorithm learns the exact opposite. Unemployed teenagers with big loans do not default. Here's a graphical model which represents what all machine learning and statistical algorithms are essentially doing. They learn the target outcome as a function of the inputs which they have the data. So obviously they will learn things like people with higher salaries are less likely to default. But what the model can't learn is the impact of relationships involving unobserved variables. In this case, the variable loan given was missing in the sense that we only had data for those given loans. We were also missing the special client information and latent variable loan suitability. People of expert domain knowledge and a common sense understanding of causality can provide this graphical causal model before considering the data. Pure machine learned models also ignore the impact of causal statistical dependencies between input variables, such as those shown here. For example, employed people are more likely to have higher salaries than those who are not employed. Turing Award winner and world leading computer scientist Judea Pearl has argued convincingly of the need to incorporate causal knowledge in order to improve the state of the art of AI learning. He uses a simple three step ladder to represent the three levels of learning. At level one, we learn by seeing, but we can only learn associations this way, such as from trials data is this particular drug effective at stopping headaches? Or in our bank loan example, we can learn whether unemployed people given loans are more likely to default. At level two, we learn by doing. This way we can learn about interventions, such as if I take this drug, will my headache stop? Or in the bank example, if I am unemployed, will I default on a loan? At level three, we learn by imagining. This is where we learn about counterfactuals, such as if I had not taken the drug, would my headache have stopped anyway? Or in the bank example, if I'd been employed, would I have still defaulted on my loan? Pearl argues that if we rely on statistical machine learning from data, then we can only ever get to level one on this ladder. Getting to both level two and level three require causal knowledge of the relationships, not just between factors in the data sets, but also including unobserved ones. So that's why we argue for a smart data approach rather than a big data approach. If you focus on big data and throwing it at machine learning algorithms, most of the time, you'll end up with garbage, especially if you attempt anything beyond step one on the AI ladder. But if you use causal knowledge to elicit the right data, you can usually use much smaller data sets and causal models to get to levels two and three of the ladder.